Good morning. So what we covered so far in previous sessions, let's see quickly. We did these steps till yesterday. So today what we will do is we'll have to install and configure one Windows 2019 or 16. Okay, we'll, we'll try 19 if it works well. Otherwise, we'll go with the 16 later on. Okay, so what I need to do, I need to install and configure one Windows server and then enable Active Directory and DNS services inside the machine. So in short, this will act as a domain controller for me. And what is the IP that we have decided for domain controller and a DNS both? So 192.168.30.55. Remember, I pass this information to each and every ESXA server which we have deployed yesterday. Right, so we'll use this. How to build the VM? Let's go back. <coughs> See what all the VMs we have so far here. What happened? Okay, so three ESXA machines and leave about the other three. So I need to create one more VM now. Let me do this manually because I don't have the OVA file for 2019. So what is the machine name? Cancel. Sorry. Yeah. Create a new machine. Continue. What is the machine name? At least I will have. East US. AD01 dot that's it active directory 01 6.5 and compatible windows what is the windows version um, yeah, 16 and later hello Fine. are you started yeah. recording yeah, started recording. Okay, I'll select 2016 and later I'll place this in SSD. Just a second, it will take a little time to show the customization. Okay, so how many CPUs? I'll give all the 4 GB RAM is fine, 40 GB standard Windows Server, and select thin provisioning. Okay, and we'll keep it in VLAN 30. And CD, you want to connect? Let us store ISO file. Go to ISO file. What is the version of the operating system you want to install? Plus 12, is it was 19? Let me see. This one. I guess this is 2019. I need to rename it, but server evolution. Okay, let me try this. Is. Okay. Connected power on. And go to VM VM options. I'll say boot delay ten thousand milliseconds. I'll show you why I need this. Next, finish. So virtual machine has been created and just power on remote console. You'll see, started loading. Yeah, it's Windows 2019 only. So the 10,000 milliseconds, you'll see this VMware screen, right? And there is a countdown starts here, 10, 9, 8, the delay. So, so that in this screen, you can select if you want to 
select something. So for that, you see that delay needs to be applied. Otherwise, it straight away start booting from the device. If it won't find the boot device, it will give you an error. If you want to avoid that, put some delay in the booting window so that you have a choice to select. I'll show you when, when I reboot the next time. So go to full screen, install. 2019 okay and desktop experience data center version accept next custom Install it on 40 GB. <clears throat> Let's see how much time it will take. Once it started, and we'll minimize this, and we'll discuss something else. Which, okay, not taking much time. It's moving faster. So hopefully, it will get finished in 10 minutes. <clears throat> okay, let's minimize this, and go back, and see. If we have a vCenter file, vCenter ISO file uploaded in the data store or not, As SSB browse, <coughs> sorry, SATA ISO file. What we need, we need a vCenter server. So, open to is there v, VC setup 6.0, VC setup 6.5. 6.7 is not there. Let me upload this file. Upload 6.7. I need go to softwares, VMware, VAM 6.7. No, VCSA appliance, right? We need an appliance. We don't need normal vCenter. So we need appliance open. So the file will be uploaded around four and a half GB. It will also take some time. Okay, let it upload and see where, where we are with the windows. It's almost like 75%. Okay, this will take around 10 minutes, and this will also take around 10 minutes. Let's wait and watch. <coughs> and I've, I've told you something, right? Have you gone through these steps? Read about the vCenter and ADDNS yesterday. I've gone through the portals or something, at least it did some R&D. No? Vivek, did you get the time to look into? No, oh, you are not audible. Fine, we'll, we'll see. Today we'll install the Active Directory and, and DNS services on this. And then tomorrow we'll see if time permits will do it today. Otherwise, tomorrow we'll see how to install the vCenter. I'm just keeping things ready so that <coughs> if you guys want to practice it tomorrow, everything is uploaded. So we'll see. 6.7 is already uploaded around. No, 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 not this one. ECSA, yeah. Three. 3.93 GB. Done. So file is uploaded and OS is also about to finish installation. So give me like two minutes. Once this is done, we'll, we'll see how to 
install and configure. Come on. Let's see how much utilization that system is at. <coughs> it is not taking more than six GB. Refresh. Yeah, six GB. And around mm, storage is also fine. Seventy nine GB. Okay, <coughs> it's about to finish. Okay. Just reboot. Now you will see the screen that booted up with 10 second delay. Let me show you. Okay, see this countdown. Six, five. That delay I have applied in the VM options. 10,000 milliseconds. That's it. Nothing else. Yeah, come on. So, you people know how to do the nick teaming. Yesterday, I've explained you, I guess. Vivek, you remember nick teaming? No? Yes. Okay. So, let's do the nick teaming in, in this Windows machine. So for that, I need at least two NIC cards assigned on this server. How to do that? Okay, so let's see, it's still reporting. Fine. <coughs> so actions, edit settings. So you have one NIC card, right? You can add another adapter and put it on VLAN 30. So both are on VLAN 30. So on this server, if you log in inside and check, you'll see two adapters. So I want to create a team out of two so that it can communicate using two different cables. If one goes bad, another. This is how teaming works. I don't want to uh, confuse. Anyway, it is virtual, but in a physical environment, if you have a two physical NICs, uh, how you can configure the teaming, I'll show you inside the Windows Server. Okay, just save it. Now the machine is up and running. Just put some password. Okay, server is ready. Let's log in. What is the first step? First step is if you observe, the mouse will not work properly. And also, if you go to ncpa.cpl, see network, right? network is there. So, what I will do, part of the first step, I will install. VMware tools mount tools installer it what I, what I will do 
go to actions guest os install vmware tools so it will automatically mount one iso file inside the server go to virtual machine okay let's close this out and this pc you'll see from ESXi it will mount okay from the base ESXi it has the tools feature so it, it will mount the small file which is around 100 115 MB so the purpose of this is it will improve your graphics and if you improve your UI performance and also it will help you to send the uh, heartbeat traps to master when you are doing or when you are configuring it so multiple purposes are there so first let's install this complete install it Okay, come on, finish. So it will ask you to reboot. It's okay, we'll reboot later on. Now, what is the next step? Go to ncpa.cpl. You'll see two NIC cards. Okay, now tell me for which NIC card you need to assign the IP. Anyone? Hello? Ethernet zero. Now I said I will create a team. So in that case, we will not assign IP address to any of these two. Okay, follow the steps. So just leave that and go to server manager. Go to server manager, local server. You will see Nick teaming. NIC teaming is disabled and it has two ethernets. Okay, so select the NIC teaming. Nothing to do with the VMware, it's so more of Windows feature. Teams, task, new team, public, select both the ethernets and in additional options, select address hash. Okay. Then, so now go to network settings. You'll see third one is created. So we will not assign IP address to any of these two. I will go to public properties and IPv4. I will assign to this public 192.168.30.55. One twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one is the gateway local local host itself because this is acting as a domain controller. Fine. So assign the IP address connected. Now you will see if you want to check ping one ninety two one sixty eight thirty dot fifty five. It's not pinging. I know the reason because you need to disable the firewall in the lab. I don't know why such is so not working.
working on this one. Just a second. Search is not working. Okay, fine. We'll rename the server first. <coughs> so, computer name. What is the computer name? SUS PR ID 01. Apply. Okay. Refresh. Sorry, not the description, man. My bad. SUS PR AD01 is the server name. Let me do one thing. Restart because it's not responding. Give me like two minutes. Once it is up, we'll rename the server and also we'll disable the firewall. Okay, so now try to see it's working. <clears throat> so, such is also not working earlier. What I will do, I'll change this to off. Then okay, close, minimize. Now, try to ping it, it should ping, right? It's working now. So it's sorted. What is the second step? Local server. Rename the host name. Okay. So close. Anything else we left with? Or yeah. Power off in case if you want the browser settings to be default. And Time zone. Let me see. I'll put this. I'll do one thing. For now, I'll set. Will change later on. <clears throat> okay, so let me restart once again once the server name is changed. Okay, <clears throat> still time is not updated. Okay, see, it's got updated. So, what's next? Change back. Because I need to configure this as a domain controller 127.0.0.1. Done. Close. Okay. Now <coughs> you have your Windows Server ready. 
what you need to do you need to install and sorry you need to enable and configure domain domain active directory domain services how to do that click on add roles and features next roles and features installation fine on this server yes next active directory domain services and dns server both i will install on this next install okay so i'm enabling ad and dns both on this ideally we should not do that but for our lack of us let's do it okay once a uh, feature is enabled we need to promote this server into a domain controller <coughs> okay and then we'll see how, what all the things we can do it so meanwhile let me do one thing okay so download chrome hmm it will not reach the internet because i haven't given the dns fine let's do it another way so feature is feature installation is successful cool okay now you need to promote this server to a domain controller select this option new forest what is the domain right this is the domain compatible 2016 it's okay we have some password i will not do much customization i will go with the default because this is not the windows administration dns delegation i'll give it to admin Okay, so the net bias has been discovered. Okay, your directory services will be installed on the following directories: database, logs, and this volume folder. Next, okay, next. If you click install, the server will be automatically reboots at the end of the. promotion operation yes i'm fine click install so what it will do <coughs> active directory domain services are enabled now it is promoting the server into a domain controller and once the promotion is done it will automatically reboot the server it will take around 5 to 10 minutes so just wait and watch once the installation as a promotion is done and the server gets rebooted we'll log in and check also we'll try to add uh, the esxi servers what we have those entries into dns I should have downloaded the Chrome. It's okay, not an issue. Configuring DNS. So you don't you don't need to do anything. It will automatically promote it.
this one too. Okay, now let's minimize this, close, and meanwhile what I will do, I will power on the three ESXA servers. I point eight nine, it's not utilizing much, so I'll simply select and power on. Now you'll see the utilization. <coughs> Six. It's okay. <coughs> it's taking so much time. Okay, fine. Vivek, able to understand what we're doing and Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Uh, hardly it will it will take around the 10, 10 15 minutes. Once the, what I will do is once the Active Directory services are up and running, I'll reboot the host and I'll power up the lab. Tomorrow we will continue with the vCenter installation and configuration, and we'll we'll go with the vCenter discussion tomorrow. Okay, so I'll have to wait until this finishes. Then uh, I'll close off this video. Is that fine? You can drop off if you want. Okay, yeah. Sunil, so, you can stay online. Okay, we'll see. Uh, once this is completed, and then we'll close it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll put it on mute well, because it will record more noise. It's okay, man. Yeah, you can ping me on WhatsApp. It's not an issue. Okay, yeah. Bye. We can't do much, yeah. Sunil, just wait until this gets rebooted. Okay, hardly it will take around five or ten minutes. Once rebooted, and will I'll show you uh, the DNS and the AD both, and then we'll we can close the session. Okay, just okay, be patient. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's going on. It's stuck somewhere, man. Okay, so you'll see the services are up and running. If you go to domain controller, it is promoted as a domain controller. It's promoted as a domain controller. Okay. Let's see. Access. 
it completed see it's stuck somewhere so that is the reason why it is showing as an error but if you look at Okay, let's see some of these records are already created for this particular host. Okay. School and then, and then. what to do, what to next? So let me go back and log in. I'm sorry. not happen yeah so select the VM edit settings so I need to supply go to CD expand ISO file ISO which ISO file I need to mount VCSS 6.7 select and save it so I need to mount the VCSA on this server. Okay. So I have a vCenter server appliance installer. You can proceed with the vCenter server installation tomorrow. Fine. Okay. So what else we can do? Let me do one thing. DNS. Let's see how it works. Fine, we'll try something different. Okay, let me do one thing. Create a, a record. What is the host name? SUS PR. Mm, give me a second. PR ESX01 What is the IP? 192.168.30.51 Done? Okay. So, on this server at least, I'll not be able to outside ESX, sorry, East US. PR ESX zero It's 
working with the DNS name. DNS name. Okay. So now it is working with DNS name. inside the server you can do you can create the multiple records yes east us pr esxi 02 192 168 30.52 right east us pr es Access 03. 03. So these are the three servers. Now you can access with the names inside the server. If you want to access it from the outside, from my browser, it will not work. Let's see. It will not work because my DNS is something different. I haven't assigned the DNS server in my network settings, so it will not be able to resolve it. Clear? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is so far what we did: configure the Windows server, install the Active Directory services and DNS services, and you see how you can access the host with the host names then tomorrow what we will do we'll continue with the vcenter <coughs> installation vcenter server appliance is already mounted we'll continue with the vcenter installation configuration and other steps tomorrow clear okay yes okay so let's stop here let's catch up tomorrow same time